Hello, I'm Max Woodward, and we're here in front of the new 42nd Street Studios for the first day rehearsal for the world premiere musical, Little Dancer. Meet and greet is probably my absolute favorite part of any production we work on, because it's the time when everybody, for the first time, gets together. You have your director, you have all of your actors and all of your designers coming together to make this wonderful show. Susan Stroman, she loves the ballet, she loves art, and so she's taking that and combining it with her love of paintings, and Fugaz paintings of course, and his sculpture, and she is putting story to it, making it breathe and live, and it's going to be swirling around on stage, and it's, so it's very exciting. So in our musical, we actually have all of these wonderful characters that Degas painted have been written into the piece. So it's very rich. I feel like the audience will feel like they are put into that time period and really get to see a taste of what it was like and, and also a taste of Marie's character and how she so wanted to be a ballerina at that time. But coming from a poor family, it was very difficult. The sort of conceit of the whole set as we looked at each scene is if Degas did a sketch of it. I mean, what, what might that have looked like? And some of them, like the ballet studio, it's easy because he did it. Um, and so we can find you know, a good version. And some we made up a little bit. We really are trying to recreate the atmosphere of these paintings. I'm matching, I'm taking, we've discovered who this laundress is, who that laundress is. It's very exciting. We're going to do, within the limits of our energy and technology, we're going to really recreate these costumes. But as I said, they're not freestanding. They're part of this amazing overview. And I'm jazzed about it. <laughs> I just wanted to introduce Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty. Lynn's lyrics are amazing, and Stephen's music really taps into the period. We're really creating an original musical, not based on anything. We're creating it from our curiosity about an unknown girl, and it has grown to all of you. The show is just so amazing. I think it brings together sort of all types of art. It brings together art in itself with all of Degas' pictures and sculptures and then it brings together musical theater with classical ballet. I mean, that's not normally a given. So I just feel like this show is just so special and something that's not really seen on Broadway or anywhere right now. And I think that that's what makes it so unique. I think audiences will relate to the struggles of, these, of this young woman, Marie, women and girls in the 1870s in Paris. If you weren't in the upper echelons of society, or even if you were, did not have a great time of it. And the, the seedy, dark underworld of the, the Paris Opera Ballet is, is uh, really kind of amazing. I just think audiences will be fascinated to fill in the blanks of that Degas story that never gets told, which is really fascinating. And Degas himself is a fascinating character. I love the piece, so I'm really excited to see it blossom and come to life. It's a great, great company, you know, Rebecca and Tyler, Karen Ziemba, all the rest. A lot of old friends, so it's great to be here.